Today we have the NFC and AFC West rookie premieres, but most importantly, we did get some more news about rookie premieres going into Madden 24. So here's the tweet that EA posted yesterday, and it looks like they're kind of drip feeding us information um, underneath these tweets that they post every single Wednesday night. That's kind of what it feels like. So the Madden 24 rookies, the RPs that you do in Madden 23 that go to Madden 24, you're not going to be able to sell them. So if you only do like three RPs, you're not going to get any coins in Madden 24 for that if you want to move on from those cards or if you don't like them. And of course, we still don't know the overalls of these cards, which is a little bit suspicious. I won't lie. However, they did tell us that the ultimate rookie that you're going to be able to get in Madden 23 by completing all 32 rookie premier sets will transfer over to Madden 24 and be like, I've obviously dumbed down it overall. And also you can sell it, which is interesting because who knows how that, how much that's going to go for. Who knows how many people are even going to have this card? Like, are, are a lot of people going to be doing all 32 RP sets? I don't know. We also don't know who that card is yet. So there's still a lot of things we don't know, but at least, you know, things are getting a little bit clearer and it feels like under these tweets, they're just drip feeding us the information that I'm sure they already know. Okay, so let's get started with our first RP and that is the Chiefs RP, Rasheed Rice. So first things first, if you don't have a Chiefs team, I would use your all team chem token on this card to try to get new 99 speed. If you are going to be using him, he's also six foot one, so not as tall as people originally thought he was going to be. But you know, good routing stats, and of course for the abilities, um, obviously they're, they're going to be pretty good too. These cards are basically like golden tickets, right? So try to boost the speed on these cards. You know, I, I'm I'm probably going to end up building the all rookie premier team this year and go after that uh, Madden 24 uh, ultimate rookie. I'll probably go after it because why not? What else do I have to do this summer? But um, yeah, I, I, I all I'm going to say is for Madden 23, if you're just going to be like doing a couple of these sets. He doesn't make the most sense, right? He doesn't because of the speed. But um, as far as what he can be when he transfers into Madden 24, I think it'll be a lot like this Jalen Tolbert card. Uh, both were kind of big receivers. Um, and also the fact he only has 96 speed in 23 makes me think he won't be the fastest RP that comes out in Madden 24. So that's just the way I look at it. So I feel like he can get definitely transfer and kind of be like that Jalen, Jalen Tolbert guy. And if you you know played the game at the beginning of the year, Jalen Tolbert, you didn't see a lot of them. You didn't see a lot of Jalen Tolbert. So uh, do what you want with that information. The next man up is Tyree Wilson. Tyree Wilson looks solid here in Madden 23, 6'6", 275, 99 power move, 99 block shed, 94 speed, uh, good awareness. It's all, yeah, he's going to be good in 23. He's just an edge rusher, you know, put him in there. He gets two zero AP abilities. You're going to be able to get, you know, if you want to go edge threat, edge threat and probably under pressure will be the move. Maybe if you want to make him more of a run stopper, go to outsiders and maybe reach elite or something like that. I don't know. Do whatever you want to do with this card. Um, but yeah, he'll be solid here in Madden 23. But as far as what he can be in Madden 24, and by the way, in Madden 24, um, I don't think they're going to do this, but if they go back to the old RP system where they upgrade throughout the year, Tyree Wilson is a card that I could definitely see getting upgrades just because he's on the Raiders and he's a fast edge rusher. Um, that's the way I kind of view it, kind of like a Montez Sweat. Look at a guy like Divine Diablo, for example, who gets upgrades for the Raiders. But uh, as far as what he can be in you know, Madden 24, I, I think his best comparison is honestly Trayvon Walker, uh, believe it or not, because, you know, speed similar, but I would just flip the power move and the finesse move. And then we'll go here to Madden 23 and I'll show you what, you know, Trayvon Walker became in the next game. And he was actually one of the better RPs. And they, but they, they I'm not gonna lie, they, they did his pass rush dirty. I think if, you know, I think the physical stats will look similar between Tyree Wilson and Trayvon Walker, but they will give him at least a respectable pass rush. There's no way that they do him dirty the way, that, the way they did Trayvon Walker. There's just no way. I'd be very surprised. I feel like he probably will be somewhere in the, maybe like, maybe a little bit lower, maybe like low 80s in finesse move um, because he's a run stopper archetype. So, I mean, hey, we'll see. I mean, I guess they made Trayvon Walker run stopper. Hey, they might do him like this. You know what? They might, they might do him like this again. Uh, who knows? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. And next up, we have the 5'11 Jair Brown. I think he also shrunk on Mutt.gg. He was listed taller last night when the cards were revealed. But 96 speed, 99 acceleration. If you're not, I, mean, I would probably use her this card. You know, 98 speed. I would, I mean, 511 is tough if you're going to use them here in Madden 23. Probably not. If you're not going to be completing all of the sets, this one probably doesn't make much sense. I would give this card probably like a C, honestly. The impact block's kind of low. He's a run support guy, and he's got good block. Honestly, good block shed. Could be an interesting user. It could be an interesting user uh, because he's uh, pretty good against the run. Uh, for the abilities, of course, here you go. Golden ticket abilities, two zero APs, of course, of course, of course. It also can be a good user. You can go pick artist and acrobat. You want to put him in the deep zones. He does get deep out zone. You can go deep out zone, deep route. I don't know. Play our play. You really can play this card however you want to, but I think you would be best suited as a user, especially with him being under six foot. As far as what this card will transfer over and be, I don't really know if he's got a comparison. 
because both Jalen Petrie and Daxon Hill had 99 speed last year. And again, we still don't know how these cards will transfer. I mean, Daxon Hill's 93 was as fast as this man. Look at it like that. So I'm not sure how he'll transfer. Here's a look at how Daxon Hill and Petrie transferred. So, I mean, it, it wasn't equal between Petrie and Daxon, by the way, at all. So, I mean, obviously they can be a little bit unpredictable. But I feel like, you know, maybe Jair, I don't know. Maybe they maybe they do him better with the speed. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I would assume that he'll probably will, will be pretty obsolete in both Madden 23 and Madden 24. The next man up is Paris Johnson, six foot six, three ten, only 83 speed on this card here in Madden 23. Obviously good blocking stats and, you know, two zero AP still. I don't know why I even keep showing you this, but I guess I, guess I can show you like what abilities they get or whatever. But there you go. There's Paris Johnson. And as far as what he will kind of become, I think he's going to be probably a pretty popular option. I think you're going to see a lot of Paris Johnson, honestly, just because of the name and things like that. Uh, but um, yeah, here are the tackles that were in last year's, you know, for Madden 22. Uh, Icky with 80 speed. And also, what was Icky's speed? So you have Abraham Lucas, 78. Then you have Icky with 80 speed. And then, then, then when they transferred over, they went down nine. He went down nine and, okay, 73. Okay, so he'll probably be mid to low 70s in speed which to start the year is pretty solid and uh you know hopefully the stats you know if they can transfer he's a pass he's agile so they might keep his speed pretty good um on on his next card if they keep the archetype which obviously we don't know either so um yeah obviously still some question marks just want to show you kind of how the tackles transferred but i think paris johnson a good option i think he's a good option um not only in this year's game you know having a you know two zero ap offensive lineman there's still value in that right now obviously with their need with there being no offensive lineman golden tickets there's a lot of value in that but i also think he's also a good he's a pretty good uh transfer i um, mean also he probably will get upgrades in next year's game too if they go back to the old rp system so Paris johnson's a pretty safe bet i think you know in both games okay let's stick with our offensive lineman this one right here i really like that's anthony bradford i like this card a lot 90 speed 94 acceleration uh can really do everything and he's a guard so you know two zero ap is a lot of value there too we'll show you i'll show you them real quick seahawks chems i'm surprised it wasn't devin witherspoon i was hoping we get a devin witherspoon um but okay this is not cooperating the servers hello servers okay there we go i'm surprised why the servers lag and there can't be that many people on the game right now but obviously like secure protector and free threat detector is really glitchy like insanely glitchy or you can go with nasty street threat detector uh yeah it is a nasty setup right here so anthony bradford i think he's probably a better option honestly to me than Paris johnson uh just mainly because of the speed in this game um, how good he is in this game and also he'll probably be very very good in the next year's game as well so here's some of the here's some of the guards in last year's game we had logan bruss only 72 speed uh luke only 78 speed and then zion johnson 77 speed he and bradford has 90 speed so who knows how it's going to transfer um in this game it you know they went down they go down about a pretty good amount you know but uh yeah you can kind of see the way they transfer but to me brad anthony bradford he'll be good he's probably one of the better picks so far that we've seen um through the rps i really like this card not the flashiest pick obviously but i really 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 like anthony bradford next man up is tuli tupalutu that is how you say his name definitely tuli or maybe it's tuli tuli tupoloto topolo topolu tupolo i don't know whatever we got tuli here this card 96 speed uh good acceleration 99 strength very similar to tyree very 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 similar to our man tyree wilson over here take a look right here compare them there you go looking very similar to the traits let's see the traits on the cards they're both the same so besides trip ball no penalty discipline normal high motor uh, yeah dude uh, it, it, Tooley in this Tooley in 23 is probably better who knows how the traits and everything will transfer i would imagine with tyree wilson being a top i think it was a top 10 pick they'd make him better in 24 and comparing him to you know cards that transfer over kind of the same the same cards that we, we compare tyree wilson to um but this is kind of how the, these edge rusher guys kind of transfer and then here are the abilities i gotta show you real quick for Tuli. i believe they're probably gonna be the same they're probably oh they're actually different he gets inside stuff no outsiders that's actually pretty glitchy so you can run inside stuff no outsiders for free and almost play Tuli at like defensive tackle that could be pretty nasty or keep him out in the ends or maybe as like a covered edge a covered rusher and maybe you want to put like an outside linebacker outside of him he could be pretty viable um no not not the best for an edge rusher though because he's not going to get edge threat or edge threat elite for free so if you want an edge rusher tyree wilson's probably better but 
run stopping wise i like Thule a little bit more and also Thule probably a little, little bit more versatile because he's able to play um at, you know kind of covered as like a defensive tackle or an end if you want to go that route so yeah i like this card uh, you'll definitely see be seeing my field the next man up again another edge rusher it's byron young my man is 294 at six foot three ninety four speed 96 acceleration block shed finesse moves uh again we, we've already gone over a bunch of edge rushers today and uh, he's not really he's not a guy you're going to drop into coverage either and one thing i've also noticed about today's drop is they're all run stopper archetypes again we don't know how archetypes are going to transfer uh byron young here he is on mutt.gg he only has one trait on yes uh big hitters on no clutches on no high motors on yes trips balls on no as well so he's going to be decent and again here's how these edge rushers transfer over um i feel like he might be i mean he's much faster than kingsley but he can kind of be like him i wouldn't be surprised if he is honestly when he does transfer over and you see kind of how their speeds all balance out you know you know it probably won't be that big of a dis uh, of a discrepancy between some of the higher speed guys and the lower speed guys just looking at how like kingsley transferred compared to like i mean like five speeds a lot though i will say that five speeds is a good amount so especially early game so yeah byron young probably not the best edge rusher choice and we'll look at the abilities here too unless he gets some nutty edge abilities which i don't know how he'll, he'll be better than tyree wilson but he doesn't even get edge threat or edge threat elite as well so probably not the best choice but like flat zone enforcer no outsiders it could be interesting i don't know byron young to me it doesn't make if you're only gonna be completing a couple of them byron jones is not one i would probably go after and next up we have marvin mims jr 98 speed 99 acceleration good route running he'll be probably not that great in madden 23 but as far as what he can transfer into madden 24 um, it's gonna be interesting because we already we are we've already seen three wide receivers and none of them are over six foot yet so um who knows how the early game meta is gonna work out in madden 20 uh, in madden 24 as far as receivers go obviously we're only halfway through this promo we don't know you know obviously any of the content in next year's game but uh, looking at these three receivers i would probably say the safest option so far halfway through all these all these releases is a flowers i would probably go zay flowers over both these guys um not only for madden 20 not only for madden 23 but also for madden 24 and based on how he'll transfer here some more wide receivers from last year that then transferred over to madden 23 so 22 23 there you go um, there are the stats the speed you can look at all those right there and do what you want with that information but uh yeah to me i would still say zay flowers is the safest you know wide receiver option to go with and probably still the best um even though marvin mims will be good yeah if i had to choose one i would say zay flowers so and that's gonna do it uh for today's video drop a comment down below what do you guys think about these rps and uh yeah as always i will see you boys in the next one